mid range versus Leo 2029. Leo from the future. Ah, uh, I will keep it. Um, all right. Uh, definitely green. Green and white. First. Um. So the opponent just killed the shaman. Now we will play the wall or the voice? Let's play the voice. To be a bit a little bit more let's say proactive. Now I will just play a wall of blossoms. Draw a card. And play this tapped. Um, should I attack? No, I can turn that into a 3-3. Three, three. We'll get in a Ragavan here. Vigilance, there's such haste. That's quite the uh, combination. So let's throw that down. Can't be blocked by creatures with power two or less, which is quite nice. opponent wants maybe wants to the block I don't know but I will not ah uh, now the question is okay I don't have double white so I cannot play this I can play this but then I will can I, will I get any value of it yeah I can directly play a death my shaman so that would be pretty tough strong as well um, all right but let's attack first um Wall of Blossoms or Lure us into Shaman? Let's Lure us into Shaman just to get our Lures up and running earlier. And maybe start interacting with the opponent's Lures as well. Um, well, I can't interact with the Bauble, but potentially other things that go into the graveyard. Lurises gets that. Right. Chandler. So the Chandler might be a 3 2 here soon. So the opponent can double block with their Chandler and the Lurus. Um, Alright, I can now play a wall or a voice. Or not both, no. I could play this wall and this voice. Uh, Gideon. What? As long as you can control a Gideon Planeswalker, you can't lose and your opponent can't win. Wow, that's pretty. Um, okay, I will attack first with the um, beast. The opponent has to block for sure. Let's take care of. Uh, 
Um, that thing flies now, unless I remove something. What can I remove? Is there a sorcery? No, there's no sorcery. There's a creature. I could remove the creature to make this s smaller anytime. So let's play the ghast. And a voice. Now well, let's play a wall. Draw another card. And just pass the turn. And just keep hitting with the questing beast, which is the strongest thing here. Opponent will attack before the damage. I will remove this to make it. Ah, I should have done that before blockers. Then I could have even blocked it. But all right. Double bowman. All right. So I can again attack with this. Nobody can block this, which is ridiculous at this point, at this moment, to be honest. That's, I mean, it's pretty crazy. Um, should I thought seize? Yeah, let's see what the opponent has. I hope it's not all lands. It's not. So let's take, let's take the brainstorm, actually. Play another wall. Oopsies, oopsies. Oh, that was bad. That was really bad. Uh, I gave away a shaman, gave the opponent a bigger creature here. But um, now the opponent can actually block my questing beast. So that was a bit of a blunder there again, as I usually do with the. Uh... Well, let's see if the opponent wants to trade. The opponent does. I'll just play another one. End of turn. End of turn. I will um, drain. Drain. Got it. Okay. So the opponent is a little graveyard focus. With Loras and Channeler, but not entirely. So one Ashio could be good. The Seiju. Do I have a lot of enchantments? I don't think so. So let's put another forest in there. Um, Inquisition could be good. There's a lot of cheap things. Uh, soul Guide Lanterns, yep. Remove a Ghast, a Bauble, and a Shaman. Do I need an Ashiok then? No, then let's just take another Lantern. The Ashiok is more for to prevent searching the library which is mainly done by the titan deck for example so i think in this case the lantern is sufficient because it gets it cantrips as well all right so i have no black mana but i do have a bauble and a lantern so that can get me some And the tie bar. Taking a peek at my first card. All uh, right, I can check, look at my own hand here, and decide if I want it or not. Wall of Blossoms is fine. I want to draw that. Out. So I won't shuffle and play a turn one soul light soul guide lantern here. Mm. 
brainstorming it out. Okay. Another thought sees, sure. So what did I learn from the first match? Be careful with Wall of Blossoms and people. Masters. What do I need here? Black mana for sure. So let's get an overgrown tomb and play a tap. I wants to know exactly all of my acts. All right, let's play the Shambling Gas and a forest. Play the Soul Guide Lantern. Remove <clears throat> for now an instant, but I mean, uh, all right. the gas is crazy. What's the gas? So it can it can kill if it blocks and does the one one. Can actually kill a two 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 toughness creature. Um, I could Loris and then just for the bauble here, or the next turn I could Loris for the wall. Let's Loris for the bauble here because next turn I'll just questing beast. So let's attack first. I will get immediate value, a little bit at least, so that's uh, basically enter this battlefield draw, and that it might, it's going to die to that, but I'm getting some draw here, a lot of lands, I have next turn, the, I have the questing beast next turn, wow, the opponent stuck on two lands, I guess, so that's what uh, caused them to, um, well, that was a, to cause them to, um, Concede. So this deck is completely new to me. I found it on uh, MTG Assistant or what it's called. And uh, yeah, it looks pretty nice. So I'm looking forward to playing uh, a few more matches here. The first one definitely went pretty well. So let's hope it stays that way. Abzan Midrange versus Decros. Decrow. Decross. Decross. Alright, I would like to play first, and I unfortunately cannot keep this hand. Um, one extra land would be enough, and then Wall of Blossoms is good at drawing. I could I could really risk it, but it's, uh, it's a <laughs> tough, it's a big risk. Alright, the game is freezing up again. All right, so, uh, wait, 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 this one is equally bad, but I'll keep it. Okay, so the game f froze up on me. All right, let's quickly restart and hope we get back into it quickly. I need to return one card here. Ah, uh, let's return the uh, questing beast. All right, so play the Bazaju, play the Shaman, and the Bull. Mm. 
All right, so that's a control deck. Glad I drew a land. Next turn I can Shambling Ghast and Thoughtseize. <coughs> their own top of the deck first. What am I gonna take with the thought seas? Alright, so let's play a second. Um, I could slam the tie bar here. I think that's a good choice. Let's see this and hope. Make a thrilling tale. We're in this yeah. together. Hit a wall. Now I'm missing a threat here. Untapping the Deathrite Shaman is also quite interesting. <sighs> mm. All right, so let's fetch a swan. Is fine. Let's thought seize here. All right. So, oh my God, no lands. That's the good thing. Uh, the graveyard is empty, so this will not work soon. What do I not want to see here? Probably even the Bowmasters. Or the br I could go for the Brainstorm to s try to keep the opponent locked. Yeah, let's take that. Mm. So. Um, yeah, unfortunately, I wait a second. Let's do it like this. Grab a black, untap the shaman, use this, round two. do that. Shock. And go. I'm a little out locked on black mana, unfortunately. But at least got a tiny bit of value there. Now the bow masters. Ah, okay, they can kill the tiger here now. Yeah, that's true. And the cycling. All right, so the opponent is gonna become a prop become problematic for me. They can steal stuff with the Archmage's Charm as well. Stealing my uh, Shaman is going to be a problem. Alright, so the timer goes. Oh, just monstrous. Alright, Thought Seize is good. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. 
So now we will take the probably the Archmage's charm. Yeah. And I can play a shambling ghast. Need to start removing things from the opponent's graveyards soon with the Deathrite Shaman. Unfortunately, that requires black each time, and I'm still locked in a little bit on black. So, in the future, I need to keep a note that black is probably one of the more prevalent colors here. Uh, that is required. All right, so it, again with the gas. Uh, should I attack? Yeah, let's attack. Okay, you know, got to start getting in there at some point. Alright, so I will just start draining stuff. That's a good draw. That's super important. Getting some black mana here. Now I can chain. Alright, attack again. pass. Now I have Bowmasters up, end of turn. Uh, sure. Gonna aim it at that. Alright. Yeah. I'm gonna aim, um, aim it at the Bowmaster. Throw down my own Bowmasters. And keep draining. Now the opponent is definitely low on lands. That's very unfortunate for the opponent. For me, that's uh, one of the few things that's kind of still keeping me in this. Um... Yeah, Wall of Blossoms uh, sounds good. Um All right, so that had to happen. Or that wasn't really preventable. Um yeah, I'm <sighs> So what I'm f experiencing right now is just um lack of a threat that just can go over the top. 
I should try to... I need to stick one of these here pretty soon. Uh, the Tyver can only get back Shambling Gas, which is mediocre. Uh, one, two, three, one, two. All right, so I cannot chain them, which I need to do, is what I need to do. So I do need another land after this. So I'm going to have to hold back here still. And the opponent stealing my shaman was pretty nice for them. The opponent is very close to dig through time as well. So the opponent can now dig. So I need a land to chain these, and that's my my chance. I'm gonna. St I don't until your next turn. Oh, uh, Tie bar first, it's gonna get countered. Now I'm pretty sure this doesn't have pace. Um if you face me, you will only hurt yourself. So I will probably have to pass here. But still, I won't be able to attack, so it's really pointless. So, should I just do the emblem? Why not? You should quit now. All right, so let's see if that's enough. Not sure what kind of planeswalker removal the opponent has in their deck. Next turn, this is going to be a 4-4 four, four indestructible that keeps attacking every turn. Going to get back... What exactly? Okay. The charm. Or did the opponent decline? So the opponent is looking def <laughs> is looking for an answer to the Gideon. remains unbroken So the opponent is digging through time. Um, I mean, I still feel that I'm on the losing side of this game. Because I know the, the control deck. I think they run this... Uh, the the, the, the uh, four mana instant that puts card a card on the third of the... On the Back into the library on the th at the third position from the top. So that's um, could be 
a way back for the opponent. But this is a good draw. That's like the only other. But it's going to get countered. So this is all I have. This Gideon is all I've got now. The opponent can... Oh, the opponent actually had to remove everything to play this dig through for time. So there's no more targets for the Lurus in the graveyard. So let's see, Gideon. Are you the one? Is this some... I, this could actually be an interesting card for the... For, uh, uh, that's the one! That's the one! So let's put it like this. I want the opponent to choose this, to be honest. Ah, oh, nah. Alright, that's gonna be... Gay, maybe? I need to lure some ca the counter spell out of the opponent before playing the questing beast. Is this... Well, the Drown in the Law is there as well, so... Yeah, I think th that's the card I meant, Commit. That's the one I meant, I know about that card. And that's basically exactly what can get the opponent back into this game. And this damn 2-2 two -two just... Um, I w I sh oh my god, I, I could attack with the Shambling Ghast. All right, so we'll have to try and... Well, this is the last attack that we'll be getting into. That's enough. Should have attacked with this a few more time, turns earlier. That would have been a few more points of chip damage that I could have gotten in there. I forgot about, you know, that it actually can deal with the 2-2. Two -two. There's nah, not much to do now. But the good thing is the opponent, the Demir control usually doesn't run any sweepers, especially not pre sideboarding. Um, post sideboarding, maybe some versions may run. But most of them do not. Ah, there's the edict as well, All right? Okay, but still I have some small creatures on the board, so those also need to be taken care of. A Deathrite Shaman would also be something the opponent has to deal with. Right, the opponent taking out the rest of my Bowmasters. All right, so let's play the voice first. The opponent has to consider countering it. He does, and then I'm gonna quest him. Why would the opponent counter that if they knew I had a quest? Alright, so the Questing Beast can be taken care of with it. Drown in the Lock. The token can be stolen. And there's a commit there. So the opponent does have all the tools they need. Definitely drown, drown the question. Yeah, exactly what I'm trying to think about. And all right. Oh, that's mm, all right. Let's attack first. The opponent has to react to that. 
So let's go into the attack phase first. And Dolores can get back the force. Oh wait, the opponent stole that? Okay. Alright, still gonna attack. Opponent can make a treasure. I'm gonna play this. Okay, yeah, that was stupid. Now I shouldn't have let the opponent make get the treasure there. That was, yeah, that was uh, a mistake. Without the treasure, I could have played a Loris and a Voice, and I would have had two things on the table. Now the opponent can Loris, get a bauble, and then. Uh, yeah, it's pretty but let's see. I can still draw some creatures. The opponent. Okay, the opponent drawing two here. What am I gonna draw? A Poseidon. That doesn't do anything. All right, but still gonna. Now the opponent will gain life. opponent has two mana up. I only have a bauble. be going to one here and then any bow masters or yeah bow masters could kill me immediately opponent has a lot of stuff exiled it's a typical yeah all right why can't i say stuff where's my uh, So, versus control, what do we want? Veil vale of Summer, for sure. S two Soul Guide Lanterns could be good. An Inquisition. Don't really need Ashiok. I don't think I need Bazaju, to be honest. Artifact Enchantment. Or non-basic land. I don't see that. Alright, what do I want to get rid of? can get rid of two baubles. This deck isn't too reliable, reliant on it. Uh, and the walls, yeah. Get rid of the walls. Keep one. No, keep none. I don't need walls here. So that's actually a nice... I like to decks where it's very clear what can get sideboarded out, because you otherwise I always have the issue of not being able to decide what to sideboard out and here it's very clear if it's the opponent is an aggressive deck then the wall go stays in otherwise it goes out now i'm just thinking if i play against the uh, zoo deck the wall doesn't do much well it can block 
the wild Nakado at least, but that's about it. The thing about this deck is it doesn't, I don't think it runs any, any removal. So it's all about the creatures. Opponent is definitely thinking about what to sideboard. All right, I would like to play first, and I will keep. Uh, let's just start off by using. Be the Archmaid's Charm. No, let's take the Drown. This damn Archmaid's Charm is annoying. Alright, I need... I'll take this. Play a... Sh and play a voice. What I can. Voice obviously being a great card against control. Because if they counter some of my things, I just get a free token. Double shocking here, most likely. I know the feeling. What did the opponent draw? A fatal push or a drowning block? Another drowning block. Alright. At least I'll have a token here and drew another voice. That's the thing. And the, the thing about the voice tokens is that they grow actually, which is. Uh, the feet. All right, play the gas first. Attack. Well, I should play the shaman before combat. There, that was a mistake. This would have been a four-four, but yeah, never mind. Next turn, I can play Ah, okay, at least on the opponent's side, it's only a 1-1. One, one. Um, Alright, so I shall play... A Gideon. I will prove myself worthy. I'm just gonna plus here. I've been waiting for this. Attack and all right um, I could throw down the Bowmasters here. It would get countered.
Or I could try Alluris. Alright, let's do this. There with me. Attack these two only. Okay, the opponent will jump block here. And then I will do this. So that is exactly how it should be. Uh, I'm going to take out another Poseidon. I only need one. Uh, is there a downside to having Poseidon, honestly? Yes, it's legendary. Soul Guide Lantern. I have two. That's enough. I don't need it that desperately. So yeah, let's just uh, continue as was. Voice of Resurgence being a key card here in the matchup. If obviously the opponent being on the play makes things more difficult because they will get to the two mana first and can easily counter my voice. Drown in the Lock also a great card for the opponent in this matchup basically a hard counter and a hard kill spell in probably 90 percent of the time Opponent definitely um, thinking here. Yep, this is good. I will play the Soul Guide Lantern on turn one uh, just to be mana efficient. Pithing Needle, what? The Gideon? Probably. Yeah, Gideon, alright. Throw down the lantern. Use the bobble immediately. Next turn, I can end of turn bow master, and then if the opponent counters it, then I can throw down the lures. If the opponent doesn't counter it, then I'll have the bow master. Alright, I'm gonna use start using fetch lands here. Just to thin start thinning out lands out of the deck. I think I have enough. I 
can use this when the opponent gets close to casting a dig through time. Or I can use it to draw a card if I urgently need it. Alright, so end of turn, I will put Go Masters. Uh, overgrown Tomb, and then I need the Godless Shrine. Yep, the opponent already has to think about that. I know how annoying it can be to be facing a Orcish Bowmaster's end of turn. Alright. Perfect. Well, perfect. I was not perfect, but, but definitely I'm okay with it. Now I can slam down the uh, Lurus or the Voice. The Blurus, honestly. Um, I'm gonna grab a Temple Garden. I do. This deck does have a lot of double mana creatures. Cards. And then play this Bauble for free. Draw a card. Gaining some card advantage here. Wow, two voices and a garden. All right, so I'm next turn is going to be probably pretty sweet. Need to be careful of the Archmage's Charm, though. It can steal tokens. Uh, but the good thing is the tokens will be one ones when they're on the opponent's side. <laughs> Question is, is this a counter spell? Like, let's just go with these choices here. An edict? Sure. Opponent will draw an edict. All right, shaman is pretty, pretty, pretty nice as well. The opponent can still not dig through time if, in case they do have it in their hand. So edict plus steel will deal with one voice. Okay, the opponent actually has to use it to draw. So this is already usually quite a um, desperate move. Now I know I could have kept the uh, Vizaju here for this, but... Um, should I use it now? Nah. Let's attack first. And then play a Ghast and a Shaman. Ooh, that's pretty good, actually. And it exiles. Um, dies. Wow. That's pretty strong. And I don't think I can do anything against it. I can try to find a Veil of Summer here. But I do Wow. That was a super clean answer to that. And hitting both. So that me... Could have there could have been an argument for only playing one there. So yeah. Um well now my oh right, both Gideons are out. So now the question is does the opponent have 
a counter spell in hand. I'm gonna have to try this one now. So, there it is. Alright. Well, now this game has turned into being pretty difficult, to be honest. Yep, the pithing needle really stopping me in my tracks here. Wow, that was such a clean answer, yeah. Legion's End is definitely a good card, for sure, really. And if you have it in their hand, even if I had it, yeah, if I had, if I wouldn't have played it, it would be in my hand, it would have also been exiled, so. It's right, gonna draining here. Well, at least I can take them down with them. This deck could definitely use the surveil land as well. say this game is pretty much over. A dig through time will seal the deal for me. For sure. Alright. Yeah, Soren's Ransom now is pretty much indifferent. Everything is now just going to be completely in against my favor. The only thing that could get me back somehow is a Bazaju. But even then, the Gideons would just encounter one after the other, so... Yeah, getting back what? Counterspell. It's already a ring bearer. It is a ring bearer, but that will work. Alright, GG. Um, yeah, that Legion's End was decisive here. Um, well, good play by the opponent, definitely. Oh, well, it's just a good card. Uh, a lot of two mana threats in the format. And then just getting rid of it of all of them at once is a very strong play, definitely. Abzan mid-range versus hit. I shall play first and I shall keep. One, two, three. Start off with a Thoughtseize and take a Copy the assemble. Should be my goal to stop the opponent from comboing more than anything else. Let's 
Professor Bailing. Probably gonna drop something into the graveyard for dig through time. I will attack. Surveil myself, play a shaman. And hope. Do I want to mill? That's the question. Rest. There's no sure hit, but let's try it. Alright, no hit. Alright. Well, it's unfortunate, but I still think it was the right choice. I'm gonna have to keep dodging here. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Actually, let me... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm going to remove something from the opponent's graveyard here. Hopefully they can't dig through time then. I think they can't. Yeah. Okay, so they have to use the ritual to do so. Alright, so at least forcing them, the opponent, to also use the dark ritual. in order to dig through time to you. The opponent is definitely searching deep. Which is what a combo deck should do. Search for the combo. So the opponent basically probably has to win now or never. And there we go. Thank you, Bowmasters. So, what do we want? Another Bazaju. An Inquisition. Don't really need the walls here. So... Veil of Summer. Ashiok. At least can prevent the opponent from using some of the search cards, but it's basically just the, uh, the assemble the team. So I this deck, at least this version, doesn't really have a lot of counteraction to the. Uh, show and tell deck to be honest so it's basically very reliant on thoughtsies and inquisition of kozilek ooh that's bad that's really bad that makes my thoughts he's useless. much pressure as I can. That's my only out here and chances are slim.
going to use this opportunity. Wait a minute. Wait, let's use this. You should quit now. Actually, that's an approach I can use. So the opponent has to kill the Gideon first. Alright, but I get okay, I'm sure the opponent has something to bounce. To bounce uh, permanence. Alright, the tracks I can attack the Gideon as well. So I would need to take care of the tracks as well. Probably gonna have to alter the sideboard of this deck a little bit. Um, the one mana enchantment, the white one, which prevents uh, players from playing an additional non-creature spell per turn, for example, could be put in here. Okay, so wait a second. I do this. You'll have to get through me first. So I can attack with everything. here or what is going on the opponent does truly not have an option to remove anything remove a non-land permanent from the battlefield digging 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 okay Demonic Tutor, okay, so what is it? Which card does the opponent have? A Thoughtseize, alright, I'll play the Bull Master's first. Probably gonna take my ga Ghast. my thought seizes are just useless right now. You and creatures you control have protection from the chosen card type. Alright. 
creature, sure. Choosing creature. Okay, but yeah, this is it. Okay. This is now sorcery. What? What? Quite funny how difficult Gideon is making this, but I mean, still. Yeah. What is the opponent looking for? Like, is the, nah, the opponent still far from decking? So again, doing this, but of course due to the uh, it's just you and emissary, me. I won't get through here. So, yeah, the opponent can now start attacking with the emissary. Just attack the Gideon, and I would be done, done for. So there's no point continuing here. So, yeah, gonna have to continue with the same. Deck. Play first, and I will keep. Again with the ley line. Wow. Again. Oh. Now both again. Okay, more uh, under underground mortuary. What is that? That's black green. So let's get the godless shrine. Yeah, okay, that ley line is probably already game here, unfortunately. I'll take it. And Usually an assemble the team on turn two is a good indication that the opponent will find what they need. Alright, GG's. Yeah, that ley line won the game twice here for sure. Uh, nothing I can really do about that, unfortunately. That's how it goes. Assault tie, show and tell, obviously a strong deck right now. It does have the tools to perfect, protect itself. And yeah, these two. If that wouldn't been there, these two would have taken the hand apart. So yeah, unfortunate. Abzan mid range versus Kemi Kemi cats Kamikaze cat is what that means. I will play first. I will keep. I'm gonna 
bobble myself. Um, that's good. I want to keep that. Do I want to bobble once more? Yeah, why not? All right, so it is. Next turn, okay, so what do we, next turn, okay, I'm playing against two. Next turn, I have to play the Mordry, which is a tap plan, so I only have one mana available, so that means I will definitely thought this. The wall can take care of this later. And now, I need the this one. I don't need that. I need land. Perfect. And now actually I could just play the Wall of Blossoms. But I think I do want to call Season Bless. Do I want the Bowmasters as well? Or just more lands? I think I have enough things to play. I need to land. Let's take any two mana spell here. Let's take the Kabu. Yeah, for sure. And yeah. This Nakadle in itself is already doing me good damage. Um, I think Temple Garden. Yeah. Should I just slam the questing beast? Or voice Plus. Bowmaster. Yeah, voice plus Bowmaster, I think, is better for now. Basic. To be wary of the five damage coming in from the tribal flames. I block with everything. That would prevent a blowout, wouldn't it? It would. Now if the opponent bolts something, the Nakala will still go down. But this cost an extra creature to die from my side, but that's okay. 
All right, so now I will just slam the cresting beast. Yeah, could burn me out here. I'm at one. Is there another ball too? Yeah. So five, eight, twelve. Five, eight, twelve. Just twelve. Twelve damage just from burn. That's crazy. Uh, Inquisition is good. That's all. Ghost quarter. I'll add them as, not as lands, that's the thing. I will add those as... Basically just being removable. Play first and keep. Start off with a champ gas. A brawler. The brawler can be taken care of with the bowmaster, but it's easy to be slow now. Let's do this now. Get a little bit of damage in. Yeah, I'll take it because I have the ghost quarter later. I'll play this now. And no attack. And I can... One, two, three, four. So all of these can kill that unless the opponent gets another land in. What do they... They need black unless the opponent can find black mana. Or let's say a... Unless they can find a swamp to be more precise. But that route will get blown out by any my lightning bolt or anything like that. Wow. Inti. And the opponent can fetch a swamp, so make this a six six. And then one, two, three, four, five. I cannot get rid of it. Oh wait, now I can. Which option did the opponent choose with this? I don't know. Hopefully the draw. And the opponent 
one does have the bolt, so I would have gotten blown out there. Wait a minute. Okay, I made a mistake there. The opponent's at three. Let's ghost quarter some green mana. Nah, they can just get a swamp and they'll actually have better. Uh, a better situation. Whiff, maybe? Brawler. So full on, full out attack is gonna happen here. This is gonna be a six. Yeah, let's have all this resolved first. So six. 10 and then any bolt so let's block the most impactful thing wow and i actually made it wow that was close but uh yeah so I don't know, that Ghost Quarter plan didn't really work out well. Can we go back to this? Blue or black? Blue or black? Nah doesn't help here because the hexproof part is also only against blue and black that's the important thing i was thinking just general hexproof but that's not the case i think that would be way too strong anyway i mean just one mana give all your stuff hexproof no way all right so i didn't expect a win there but we w I was able to claw one, barely. I'm gonna keep. I will start off with the swamp. Yeah, I'm gonna start start taking some hits here. Um, the tie bar could be. The tie bar needs to hit something though. Basically, my next turn is highly dependent on tie bar hitting or not. Just play the Lurus, but get no value from it. Let's go. The, let's take the, the risk here. Let's, let's, let's hit a, a creature here. We're yeah, in this exactly together. the one. Right. Bailing for nothing, basically. Alright, breaking out. 
hitting that. Okay. Gonna block here. Wow, he didn't go for the tie bar. Which means that now I can start plusing it. Oh wait, that's untapped. No, that's sorry, I rough. I mixed it up with the Gideon. Then I will play the questing beast here. Untap the shaman. We can do this all day. Oh, there was no more lands, otherwise I could have played another shaman potentially. So the opponent is attacking me here. Let's trade. Yeah, I think I have to. Uh, I could even... Well, I could shrink that by one only. Yeah, that doesn't really do much. This minusing is risky. I think it's a necessary evil again. Just Lorising here doesn't give me any value. So let's go. Oh, don't worry. Just I'll win. Eventually. Rally, my All right, let's get the bow masters. Just hit the opponent. Play a is there a land? No, I can still play a land. Get the planes. Play a Lurus. And play a Deathrite Shaman. And play another Deathrite Shaman. Alright, let's see how we can survive this. The wall will take care of the Nakado. Yeah, I can jump block this for one or two turns. All right, all right, all right. So, I'm gonna surveil. I don't need that. Plays the bowmaster. Right. I'm my bowmaster. No, aiming it at me. Do I have lands in the graveyard? Yes, I do. Okay. Uh, I'm not gonna attack with anything. I'm gonna have to use the shamans to, to drain and gain life here. me down to five. The opponent down to seven, two, four, six. One, one, two, three. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. 
What is this? Okay. All right, it's up to you, shamans. It's all up to you. Do I have another land? Yes, I do. All right, this shaman is probably too late. So I think I might have a good chance at winning this here. So let's do this. Remove the land. Gain a bit of Shamans winning the game. Wow. Just hogging up the ground and sh three shamans <laughs> draining for days. Interesting. Um, so yeah, this deck definitely has potential, as you can see. You know, going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the strongest decks in the format. Played against Zoo, played against Show and Tell. Show and Tell is difficult, but that was mainly to the ley line. Um, so might need to tweak the sideboard a little bit in that regard. But against Zoo, I was surprised that this turned out to be pretty uh, strong. I The voice is a great card. Tyvar is super is interesting. And the Gideon as well. So uh, yeah, might, need, might tweak this deck a little bit more uh, in the future. But for now, it seems to go on, uh, have had a good start. Anyway, thanks for watching, peace out, have fun, and see you in the arena.